The sex thing was just one idea which came out of um, me saying I didn't want to direct another sex scene. And so the whole title, the title came before the whole film because we thought, oh, we'll make, we'll just declare it, you know. I said, I don't want to make any more sex scenes. I'm sick of sex scenes in films. There's just been way too many of them. The ideas behind the film uh, came from just where I was in the world, where I felt the world was. This kind of, I don't know, I felt like this consume anxiety, you know, I felt we were all sort of heading towards the edge of the cliff and um, and I just get interested in that kind of stuff. I, just, I suppose I always get interested in what my brain's doing and I think I'm pretty normal so I think if my brain's doing it, that's what everybody's brain's doing and so I just, I suppose it's just, you know, looking inside to um, see what's happening and then, and, then, and then finding things, story things, I guess, that, that, that help contain those ideas. The themes in the film are anxiety, um, how to cope with good luck and bad luck, whether good luck or bad luck is earned or deserved or actually controllable at all. Um, I guess leading to another theme in the film which is whether anything is controllable or whether anybody's controlling um, anything <laughs> and whether you want something to be in control or whether you have to figure out a way of seeding control or getting what you can and letting the rest go. It's, it's about all those things. It's a happy film. It's, it's a film about being happy with, within all those huge things and that you don't have to solve problems to be happy and that life is something that happens as you're wondering what to do about it. It's just kind of a love story. It's really, in, in the end, with, you know, it's a portrait of a time and some people um, and society, but, but really it's just a kind of a love story. And the structure of this film was, you know, we'll keep it within a year and we've got these little, little stories within the big story. And don't worry about, you know, how do you get from this ellipse to, I mean, you know, like from this story to that story, because the ellipses can be part of the drama. Um, and gradually the story does come, you know, you sort of get, get the ideas, you get uh, some characters that can encapsulate the kind of anxieties or lack of that, that are around in the world. And, and then you have a structure and the story just comes. You know, in the end you think, oh God, there's too much story. And you started out with none. I just think she's got an amazing ability to be in the moment on the camera and you can almost see the transformation of her ideas as the camera's rolling and and because that ca it just meant that we could shortcut a whole lot of the stuff you know we didn't have to act it out because you can just see her thoughts changing. Matt Day you know worked really well with Sasha he also has a who's willing to play the dag I think anyway <laughs> he ended up willing to play the day. He, you know, was, was willing to forego being the alpha male. You know, he was, um, I don't know, he was happy to be a bit of a nerdy guy. I think this family is the kind of family that you probably want to hang out with. I think that's the, the key thing of, of it is, is, is that, you know, while you're watching them, you, you kind of enjoy their company and you, and you like being there.